here we have a block on which there's a force acting at an angle theta and this force is given as a function of x where x is the displacement of the box and it's given that the force is equal to some constant times x okay that means as the block gets displaced initial velocity of the block is zero so as the block gets displaced x value increases and the force value also keeps increasing and we are asked to calculate the acceleration of the block acceleration when the block just breaks contact that means you see as the force increases eventually at one point this block is going to break contact with the ground and it's going to lift off that makes sense right so when it just breaks contact i want to calculate what the acceleration is all right let's do it this is actually sort of like a continuation of last problem that we did so let's resolve the forces how many forces do we have on the block there's one force which i'm going to resolve one this way which is going to be the cos theta component so it's kx cos theta and one going to be this way which is kx sin theta then there's the usual contender the gravity and also there is a normal force there is the normal force over here and the object will be accelerating this way it wouldn't accelerate unless and until it has broken contact so when it's just breaking contact, it still accelerates this way. This force is still zero. So the acceleration is still going to be in this direction. Okay, now if you remember what we did last time, I told you how the normal force keeps changing and I also told you when the contact is gonna get broken. Okay, so if you look in the y direction, sigma fy is equal to m times a y I'm gonna call this as y direction this is my x direction there are three forces acting let's write them quickly we have k x sine theta we have plus n we have minus mg that should be equal to mass times acceleration along the y direction now notice that acceleration along the y direction is zero as long as the block has not broken the contact when it just breaks the contact it's, it's it's still zero that means if i wait for another nanosecond then it starts getting an acceleration upwards okay so the acceleration is zero but it has just broken the contact that means the normal force has also gone to zero that's the meaning of just broken the contact okay so you put normal force as zero you call this as zero and you understand that kx sine theta should be equal to mg or x should be equal to mg divided by k sine theta that should be x value so that's the displacement at which or that's the position at which or the displacement whatever at which uh, when the k sine theta becomes equal to mg normal force goes to zero and you wait for a nanosecond later it's going to take take off in the vertical so using this, I can figure out what x value is in the horizontal. I mean, I mean the force value is in the horizontal. So now let's do f sigma fx is equal to ma in the horizontal. In the horizontal, there is only one force that is k x cos theta. That must be equal to ma x, but I now know what x is. So that is k, and x is mg divided by k sine theta into cos theta that must be equal to mass times acceleration along the x direction mass cancels k cancels so we now have ax as g cot theta and that's the acceleration when it just just breaks contact <laughs>